Hi, what's going on guys? It's Almond. Welcome back to another Wizard 101 video. Today's video, we're talking about Malister rematch duel. The finale of the whole series, at least for now, till Arc 2 rematches come around. Or if they decide to tweak some of these bosses. And depending on that, obviously, I'll write down new strategies and update the slides for you guys. So you guys don't feel left in the dark and uh i'll continue doing all this type of stuff whenever they update it so be on the lookout for that but today we're gonna be talking about mouser so if you do enjoy this type of content be sure to leave a like subscribe all type of stuff and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the mouser one right so mouser has some unique stuff to him a lot of randomness i'd say and this one's actual randomness behind it and you guys will see what i mean if people who have done the mouse rematch would understand what i mean by randomness but i do want to clarify at the moment this is bugged there's um luckily this was the last one out of all of them and this one is actually bugged um it is confirmed that it is bugged reason being is whenever sylvia dies right kill sylvia whatever the whole point of this match is that whenever sylvia dies she has a chance of respawning back at a certain amount of rounds and uh whenever she does come back she's supposed to be the same rank as she was but for some reason at the moment she's respawning as like a rank 18 mob that has like some crazy resistance and like has a fortify that has like six rounds and like a minus 25 aura and protected shields whatever so it becomes literally impossible so do this at, at your own risk at the moment but it will be fixed down the line um so just keep that in mind but let's actually talk about the cheats now i think it's time that we talk about the cheats um so let's get into it so for the malisters cheats as long as sylvia and i are together nothing can stop us if sylvia is alive malister will cast a minus 100 percent v plague at the start of each turn i know that's crazy you're probably wondering well Almond, how the hell am i supposed to defeat this if every round sylvia that is alive i'm just gonna have a minus 100 v play well let's talk about the other cheats first and then we can go back and talk charm i'll take those if a wizard decides to blade when sylvia is alive mouser will cast Jin's larceny so he'll basically do Jin's larceny you can't blade this does activate if you do, do decide to dispel him while sylvia is alive but of course doesn't matter because of the fact that um you don't even have any blades on you <laughs> you're just dispelling so keep that in mind when sylvia's alive do not blade you can trap you can or uh you can actually uh can't aura because you know stack cap or level cap but you can decide to um bubble so bubbles and traps are allowed while this uh, while sylvia is alive then we move to our next sheet can you fathom the pain of our party after sylvia is defeated doesn't so there's another thing after sylvia is defeated the following round mouser will deal 25 percent of his hp to himself and cast an aoe mana burn now i did specify that it is on the following round but it's actually not um i know i could have just edited this and just you guys would have never noticed but i wanted to conclude this in so some people were telling me this over and over it does happen right after you kill sylvia it does not there is a chance that he just doesn't do it that that round right it's it's like a certain amount of rounds he does it and i think i don't know the exact amount of rounds because the amount of times i have done this and sylvia has just respawned and it just chalks up the entire run because it's ranked 18 um so i wasn't able to test this properly but from my experience i've had it go up to four rounds i don't know if it can go further beyond that but from my experience it's gone up to four rounds it's completely random he can do this sheet after like instantly after sylvia's dead he can do it a round after two rounds after three rounds after doesn't matter so in my strats i consider that as well so keep that in mind now we move on to our next sheet death cannot part us for long mouser will resummon sylvia and stun all the wizards no this can occur randomly so like i said he can randomly summon uh sylvia after she's dead instantly or even all the way up to seven rounds because i did do some testing 
and the furthest i've gotten is seven rounds don't know if it can go higher than that but from my experience i've gone up to seven in the run and then finally we have our last cheat no once sylvia is dead malister will remove all negative charms on the players note the following round you are able to blade your other players now i wanted to include the the, the note part because I know some people might be confused and might forget that you can actually blade. But yeah, once Sylvia is dead, you can blade. You can't blade in the same turn you kill Sylvia. So like, for example, if I kill Sylvia, like round four, let's just use a scenario. And then I have the last person blade themselves. That does not work because of the fact that Sylvia was technically alive that round. So the cheat still activates. So for my testing, that did occur. But those are Malister's cheats at the moment. I don't know if he has more cheats. Uh, there probably is a late cheat, but I try not to include those because of the fact that like you really should be late to the fight because there's so many factors. But honestly, you should not be late to the fight. So if there is a late cheat, I'm sorry if I didn't include it, but you really should not be late. Now we move over to Sylvia's cheats. Sylvia has three cheats from my experience. Don't know if there's a fourth one, but hey, you never know. I cannot bear to see my love in pain. If a wizard casts a dot, Sylvia will do a mass triage. So don't try to like cheese this, you know, just dot spam. Literally, Sylvia will do triage. And um, there's that as well. Uh, my love, I cannot hold on any longer. After one to seven rounds, Sylvia will cast a dark pack that, deceal that deals 100% of her health and give Malister a 100% blade. No. This cheat can occur randomly. So she can do it round one. She could randomly just want to die round one. She can do it round two, three, four, five, whatever, right? I've had it happen consistently like around round four, but that's just complete RNG, right? And I have had attempts where she just decides to die round one. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, well, I mean, then what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to be able to buff? whatever you need at least like i believe six buffs or something like that or probably a little bit less i don't remember because of the fact that you need to kill bally and you don't know when mally is gonna do that mana burn on himself he can do it randomly after sylvia's dead he can do it the round after sylvia's dead furthermore right it's a bit randomness into it and then the last cheat is no has he suffered uh, has he suffered enough or hasn't he suffered enough? Sorry. If Mouser is hit while Sylvia is still alive, Sylvia will cast a sacrifice on Mouser, healing him for 2000 HP. And you guys are probably wondering, well, Amon, can't I, you know, just keep hitting Sylvia till she just randomly kills herself to force the cheat? Not really. Because of the fact that she only does 300 damage to herself. So can't really force it i mean unless you trap stack her and like at that point wouldn't it be better to just kill her you know that's just my opinion though um so those are all the cheats right for the fight i know it's currently bugged and you know sometimes when the mouser does respawn sylvia it will be a rank 18 but it will be fixed down the line now let's get into the strats right i know a lot of people will be like well i mean how am i supposed to do this right if with all these cheats going on, a lot of randomness going on. What am I supposed to do? Well, you have a person on your team that loves dispels. We're going to cheese this a bit. We're going to use dispels to our advantage. Now you're probably wondering, well, I mean, you don't have to dispel. Well, you kind of want it. Reason being, there is some spells on Sylvia that are quite annoying. She has mass tower shield. She has tower shields. Um, another thing is she has a stun that stuns everybody that's ice. What can you use? Ice to spell. Literally having an ice or having a person that can spam ice to spells on Sylvia will make this fight so much easier, right? It will make this fight super easy. So we're going to use that to our advantage. We're going to use dispels and cheese the hell out of this fight. Um, so... Just to prove a point, I even did this on an ice out of all schools because I know with the past videos, I've always used a fire hitter, a storm hitter, whatever, or a myth. Just to prove a point, made it so 
blatantly obvious that you can do this on any school <laughs> you can do this on an ice so for this example for the video we're gonna use an ice you can do this with any school literally any school just change up the traps if it's a spirit school use spirit traps and then instead of using an ice bubble use the bubble corresponding to your hitter um if you're using uh i don't know let's just use life for example so you would use life traps and then you would also substitute all the pet stuff and the amulet stuff for life traps very easy use your six pip you'll be fine not that difficult but like i said let's look at the strat now so in the first slot you want to have an ice balance death or life and you're probably wondering well i could just use an ice right because they have dispel yeah you can 100 do that 100 um because they have a trained of course but ice doesn't have access to 100 power pips because of the stack caps if you try having at least like 134 or something like that which i believe is the current stack cap it will scroll you down all the way down to 96. and i know some people are like oh, okay i can just risk that that's not a big deal well that's up to you for like to decide right but I like always just having no RNG involved. And what I decided to do was you can have an option for a balanced death or life because they can actually achieve 100% power pips as a level 50. So for that reasoning, you can do that and then have an ice master and then go train melt. Go train melt. You can have TC melts if you want to, whatever. Um, the most melts I've used in this fight is going to be probably six um there is some instances where i do use three which is perfect um maybe four but three is like the the starting point i'd say like you want at least minimum of three um you want to have more because of the randomness that is involved of course if sylvia responds etc whatever so having like six is very good six as i say is a good number and that seventh card can be like your like the trap that you're going to use uh, then we move on to the death slash balance. This can, this doesn't have to be a death or a balance, right? You guys can switch this up. You really just need to stack a bunch of traps on Mali. And then once you have a good amount, like I said, you, you're good to go. But I'm using death or a balance because they, this can literally be a death or a balance. So all they're doing is doing an amulet bubble. And then they're doing an ice trap on round two. Round three, they're going to pass because they don't have much to do, right? If Sylvia is still alive, you're kind of limited. I know some people are going to say, well, I'm in, I can just trap early. You know, the reason why I don't put hexes and curse is because the fact that Mouser is death. He has access to dark pack and I don't want to put traps like universal traps when he's just going to do, do like dark packs and stuff like that. So that's why I didn't include those beforehand. And uh, that's just for me personally. You guys are more than welcome to do that, though. You guys are more than welcome to add a hex and curse, whatever, early on if you want to. But this is just personal preference. Um, so that's why I don't do it till later on. And then, of course, they're just going to pass. And then once Sylvia dies, they're going to curse or hex um, the round that you guys are hitting. And you're good to go. And the third person, legit. It can be any school any school um they just need to spam elemental traps and then the turn that you're gonna hit they're just gonna do an elemental blade so what we did was just they did an elemental trap then they did an amulet elemental trap and then they did a pet elemental trap and then the, the round that you guys are gonna hit you do an elemental blade on the person that's hitting um of course corresponding to your school just switch it up right if it's a, if it's a myth do a, do a spirit blade quite simple and then um the reason why they're able to blade is because sylvia's dead of course and then the ice hitter they're doing literally universal traps or not universal traps they're doing their own trap um but they're doing zero pips so in case you for some reason pit fail whatever you, you like if randomly by chance you pit fail really bad you still have enough to actually even kill which that's why you use zero pips on that person so they're doing ice trap they're doing amulet ice trap and they're doing mass trap you, like i said you can substitute this out for any other trap um if you have access to it so if you don't have mass trap i know there's some people well, i don't have dragoon hat i don't have headmaster staff there's other ways of getting an ice trap there's a pet that gives that as well so get that at your own regard and then they're just going to colossal the turn um that they're going to hit pretty straightforward and uh, that's about it 
right that's that's the whole strat right you just need a minimum amount of buffs right and then you're able to kill and i know i'm gonna get some questions about almond what if the you know sylvia dies round one right that's fine you still you don't have to dispel instead you can carry other traps that person that's in slot one can carry other traps just in case right like for example sylvia dies round one but the thing is he can also summon resummon sylvia round two and then you're just back at this like stalemate you know and you can't kill mally if sylvia is alive because she'll just sacrifice so that's why you're in that constant stalemate of doing this now i do have another strategy but it's very specific but i do want to include it in the video just because we were able to do it this way and it it worked quite often if rng is in your favor but let's talk about it real quick i had a strategy with myths and it might look cooked it might look cooked but it worked it worked every time um that it rng was in our favor <laughs> all you're doing is literally same the person one is still spamming melts on sylvia is dispelling sylvia with ice spells of course and then all you're doing is literally using traps you're using different versions of mass trap um and then what you're going to do is quickly kill sylvia and then quickly kill malister back to back so you don't have to worry about that mana burn sheet so that's about it and then you have to have cleanse because of the fact that malister does have deer knight and it's bottom path deer knight so it could give you a weakness on top of that so that's why you want to have a person that's a storm or a myth. It could be any person, like it could be any school that has the headmaster staff or even um, uh, specifically a myth that can do the Dragoon hat, of course, for another mass trap. But using mass traps are your advantage. So you can just easily switch between both targets whenever you need to. So for example, if round three, at the end of the round, she randomly decides to... Um, basically just die you can easily swap it up you can easily start blading and then myth trapping and then the following round stone classes right if i'd say this fight is a little bit more of like if you know how to play you know how to play type thing if you know how to react to sylvia dying quickly then you should be fine but if you don't know how to react that easily and be kind of confused well what am i supposed to do type thing then this fight's going to be a little bit annoying for you but there is, like I said, the RNG factor of Sylvia randomly dying um, round one, two. I feel like if she didn't have the randomness factor, um, there's the issue of, well, the only school that can beat this is Myths because they can do bottom path stone classes and remove the weaknesses, right? Um, and that's why that cheat, I feel like, is there of her randomly dying because her randomly dying causes Mouse to remove all negative charms and that makes it easier to do it on any other school right so that's why that sitting and just waiting strat just works it requires a little bit more skill i think overall this rematch requires a little bit more skill and just being able to react um and you can do it on any school like i said just trap stacking and just waiting to be able to hit right once you're able to hit and sylvie randomly dies and you're okay but if you're that type of person that doesn't want to wait myths have it really well and you know if you don't want to wait longer than four rounds, Myths can literally kill Sylvia round four and then just proceed to kill Mouse around five. And you can five round this, of course. Um, so there's like a lot of variables that come in play, you know. Um, which one would I recommend? Honestly, the easiest one is just to sit and wait. Once they fix Sylvia, you can just literally do that one and be able to farm your hat, right? hopefully they do tweak this and make it a little bit better but the best thing i can say that i would want to be 100 percent fixed is that minion just randomly becoming a rake 18 because you can't you, it's physically like almost impossible to kill sylvia as a level 50 um that it's the rank 18 version that has protected shields <laughs> auras stuff like that it's just it's just really difficult um so hopefully that's the only thing that gets fixed i mean they can tweak the other cheats i wouldn't mind it you know just make this a more of a consistent strat um just being able to kill sylvia as a myth or even just uh making a cheat where after a certain amount of rounds malister would just cleanse off the weaknesses that's another thing too so you're like forced to wait a certain amount of rounds um but that all comes down to the devs and how they want to do this fight but overall like i said a little bit of rng you got to be able to be on your toes and know how to react uh depending on what malister does and um 
yeah other than that you should be fine guys uh would i recommend farming this at the moment probably not i'd highly recommend that you guys wait out let the mouse rematch get fixed a bit because you, i know a lot of people will mauled um that there is a higher version of sylvia so wait it out if you're really in dire need of the hat go for it just pray that sylvia doesn't just randomly die around one and even if he does pray she doesn't come back to like round like five or something like that then you should be fine but overall that's the video guys hopefully you guys enjoyed and literally been enjoying all the rematch tools it's been a journey it's been a journey of uploading these whenever i can appreciate all the people that have been giving me feedback or asking my opinion on certain stuff that they want to add to the strats um definitely i did tweak some strats uh from the previous videos minor minor changes nothing crazy just so it's like visually better um but if you guys like i said if you guys do want to see the slides they are in the discord i am making another pair of slides for all the gold key bosses if people do want to farm the gold key bosses there is another slides in the discord where you guys can just look at that they do require incendiate for most of them and you need that decathlon deck so if you guys haven't check out that previous video that i uploaded highly recommend that you guys get that decathlon deck it's perfect time right now it's really perfect time membership at is active right now member fit member benefits are literally going on right now like double pet xp whatever just so you can make those decathlon pets to be able to farm it to get the deck and then you're set you're really set like i feel like ki literally lined it up and just for you guys and not many people have realized it so like i said that's it for me hope you guys enjoyed uh, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all type of stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.